Hello everybody, Kevin Savatella here with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Oakland Park and right next to Winter Garden. And today we're checking out David Weekly and we're checking out their Seaside model. Now this home is just over 2,600 square feet, four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. And if you're looking for the community that has some really nice curb appeal and has that Southern charm, well, I think we found the one. So I want you guys to come on in and enjoy the tour with me. So today, I got a special guest today that's holding my camera. It's my lovely fiance, Andrea, by the way. And here's a picture of her. So right over here, this home, one of the great things about the seaside floor plan is check out this front porch. You got all this space over here that you can sit down, you know, enjoy your morning coffee, people watch, or whatever you want to do. And if you wanted to, you can come back around over here and you got even more space over here. And I don't know, I might grab one of these drinks, a ginger ale right here, and enjoy the little swing. What do you guys think about this front porch? This is beautiful, I love it. And then now we're gonna go inside the house and check it out because the inside is just as good as the outside. So come on in. And then I'm gonna let you guys go in first. And then so right over here, we have what they call a flex space or how they have it set up as an office. So you can see there is plenty of space over here that you can make it into like a formal living room if you wanted to make it an office space like this. There's different options that you could do with this. So definitely nice touches by David Weekly over here. Then continuing right over here to the great room. We do have the main living space. So we got the dining room, we got the kitchen, we got the living room. But before we go into those, you do have your half bath for downstairs like that. All your guests has nice bathroom to use. They did decorate it really nicely off the little upgrades, but definitely really nice. And then right over here, we do have the dining area. And if, if this is something you wanted to do, add this extra cabinetry, the countertops, this is an upgrade worth looking at doing. And then right over here, we do have some shelving that's probably not an option but it's something that you could do afterwards if you would like now let's take a look at this kitchen this kitchen is big and i mean i'm six foot one they have some super tall cabinets i can't even reach it myself <laughs> and then so it is pretty nice to have it because it looks super nice because it's super tall and then you can also store things that you might not use too much but here they did put the gourmet kitchen option. So you got the hood vent that vents to the outside. They do have gas here. So all, for all my chefs out there that like gas, they got you covered here. And then right over here, this will be your microwave. And then you got your oven here as well. And since you'll be building from the ground up, you do have a lot of options to customize. So you see right here, they have kind of like a cream color cabinet. It's like a mixture of gray and like a little cream. And then over here, they do have brown. So if you want your island to have one color and the rest of your kitchen to have another, it's an option. So continuing this way, we do have the pantry. So if you wanted to take a quick peek at the pantry right over here. Definitely not the biggest, but there's plenty of cabinet space to cover for all that. And then continue right over here, you got your main living space. Now, what do you guys think? I mean, you see right here, you got a three-seater sofa. You got two chairs that you could put a love seat. Right there, you got the dogs. Here, you got another chair. I would probably put like another chair over here to make it more comfortable, fit more people. But everybody's a little bit different. But I do like the dog. <laughs> and then right over here, they did put a little kind of seating area, something a little bit different, but it does look pretty nice. Um, but everybody has their own taste on what you can do with this area. And then over here, so right here is normally like a covered lanai, but they made it into a sunroom. So this is all enclosed, but normally your house will end right here. But this is an option that you could do. 
And then right over here will be your three car garage that they're working right now. So we'll leave them alone for a moment. But we'll continue right back into the house. And then right to our right, we have our master bedroom. And then, but before we go in there, we do have the laundry room as well. So I'm gonna close this door like that, you guys don't peek. But you see, you got your washer and dryer. You do have the option to put some extra cabinetry right over here. Here, you do have the option if you wanted to add the laundry sink. So, lots of people like it. I've never found too much of a use for it, but everybody has their wants and needs. And then right over here, we have the master. And take a look at this master bedroom. My fiance, who's here with me today, she actually really wanted to get some decoration ideas. She loved the hanging lights. She loved the, the woodwork, the trim work. It, it looks really nice. I like it. And now, because I brought her, I gotta have to do a little bit more work around the house. <laughs> but it's gonna look great. So coming on over here, we do have the master bathroom. So over here, you do have your double sinks. And one thing I'm a big fan of is that right here, you get two shower heads. You get the rain head, which is an option, and then you get the regular shower head. And then right here, actually a little bit tucked away, you point it right over here, you got the two nozzles for the two shower heads. So like that, you could turn it on and not get wet by the, by the water right away. And then right over here, you do have your toilet room. Whoop de do, very special, very special room. You do have your walk-in closet as well. Pretty good size, plenty of shelving. I like how they got them separated. Like that, you can add extra clothing and then you got one single one over there. And then right over here, we do have a linen space as well that you could put either shoes or linen. And then I believe right over here too, there is a linen closet as well. So that's always good to have extra storage space. Nobody complains about extra storage space. And the good thing about this house as well, if you don't like to go too far to do laundry, well, they got you covered right over here. You got your laundry room, like magic. <laughs> so now we'll continue and go upstairs. Lead the way, my beautiful fiance. So they did do the upgraded spindles right here and then wood treads going upstairs. And then going up, they do have a really cool wall that's like elevated. As you can see right here, we got to like step up into the loft and then there's this like huge loft space that you could just, you know, chill out on. <laughs> but you can see there's plenty of space. So if you want to use it as like a kid's player room, put a pool table, they could play their video games and whatnot. This is a great space for that. So we'll continue right over here and check out the regular bedrooms. And then so right over here, we got an another bedroom. So we saw the master downstairs and we got this one. So just your normal bedroom, definitely painted in that pinky color. They like ice cream, obviously, and photography. My fiance is also a big photography fan. So she probably thinks this room is pretty cute. I heard her say yep <laughs> and then right over here we do have the bathroom so you do get a single sink and then they did do the upgraded subway tiles there if that's something you would like to do in the master chef or in the secondary bathroom and then right over here is for that adventurous child that likes to go rock climbing as you can see here they put the rock climbing ropes and everything i never even grabbed one of these i'll probably fall but yeah Pretty cool room. You got a nice window out to the front and then we'll continue right over here. So let's see what's hiding behind this door. You got a nice linen closet. Always good to have that extra storage space. 
And then right over here, you do have your AC closet. Too crazy there. But continuing on to this bedroom, this bedroom is really good because it does have its own private bathroom. So like that, if you got an older child that needs their own space, and this is a good one. And he then has like a little office nook right there, which is pretty cool for that child, maybe in college that needs their own space. And then right over here, we do have like a little walk-in closet. It's still a walk-in closet, but not the biggest. And something pretty cool, you got a little window out here too. So you could wave at all the neighbors from your from your closet window. And then right over here, you do have the bathroom as well. So you got your single sink, toilet, and shower. All right, so thank you for tuning in to today's video. Now, I always like to end the video in my favorite spot of the house. And of course, that's definitely the front porch area. So I definitely have to give cheers to my fiance. Here's a... The cup right there. So cheers, baby. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This community is amazing. Just a few minutes away from downtown Winter Garden. You're also close to all the major highways as well. And they currently are going for in the 800s right now. Um, they're working on their next phase. So if you are interested in getting into the wait list, you got to contact me right away because they are actively growing. But in the meantime, see you guys on the next video. Thank you, guys.